Hello friends. Today we'll be discussing TNM 9th edition staging of lung cancer. 9th edition uh it was introduced by Hisao Asomura, he is the MD and chairman of the IASLC International Association of Study of Lung Cancer. For bringing out this 9th edition it included 87339 patients for analysis. 83% were non had a non small cell lung cancer and 7% had small cell lung cancer the changes from the 8th edition to the 9th edition t staging the tumor staging there was no changes the major changes were brought in the n staging that is the n2 uh, it was split into n2a and n2b if it involves a single station it is n2a and if it involves multiple station it is n2b then the other changes was brought was in the m staging m1a and m1b was same m1c1 is multiple metastases in single extrathoracic organ system and m1c2 is multiple metastases in multiple extrathoracic organ system initially it was in eighth edition it was m1c it doesn't matter whether it is single or multiple extrathoracic organ system again briefly discussing the major change that is the n2 it is n2a or n2b so if you see n1 is the involvement of uh, the lymph node stations between 10 11 12 13 and 14 that is the hilar interlobar lobar segmental and subsegmental these are the n1 nodes n2 nodes are the mediastinal lymph nodes it includes stations of 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so all this is all this are uh, n2 lymph nodes if it involves a single station it is n2a and if it involves multiple stations it is n2b level 1 is n3 lymph nodes the major uh, the comparison between the 8th edition and the 9th edition uh, it is similar to the 8th edition that is in stage 1 it is it has same 1a 1b stage 2 has a and b only 3 has a b and c 4 also has a and b so this is similar to the 8th edition no changes coming to stage 1a it's same t1 n0 m0 is stage 1a t2 a n0 m0 stage 1b no changes stage 2a again t2 b n0 m0 comes under stage 2a the change is t1 n1 m0 which was initially stage 2b now it is in the stage 2a t1 n1 m0 then stage 2b this is all same t2 and t3 t2 n1 m0 is stage 2b t3 n0 m0 is also stage 2b no changes wherever there is n2 changes are there initially t1 n2 m0 was in stage 3a now because it has been uh, uh, divided n2 is divided into n2a and n2b t1 n2a m0 is part of stage 2b moving on to stage 3 first we will discuss t1 n2b m0 initially t1 n2a m0 is stage 2b and uh, t1 n2b m0 is stage 3a in the ninth edition the major changes are n2 n2a and n2b it's very easy to understand that t2 and t3 it is very similar both t2 and t3 if it is n2a it is part of stage 3a and n2 b if it is n2 b t2 n2 b or t3 n2 b m0 it comes under stage 3 b so these are the major changes from the 8th edition and the 9th uh, edition others are all same uh, in stage 3 a we have t3 n1 m0 and t4 n0 n1 and m0 comes under stage 3 a the n3 staging is also similar from 8th edition and the 9th edition t1 t2 n3 m0 comes under stage 3 b and t3 t4 n3 m0 comes under stage 3c the one thing left again very similar to the 8th edition t4 n2 m0 also is part of stage 3b uh fourth stage there are no changes uh stage 4a consists of any t any n and m1 a m1 b is part of stage 4a in stage 4b any t any n m1 c it can be m1 c1 or m1 c2 both comes under stage 4b so there are no stage uh, changes in the 
staging of the uh, lung cancer in the ninth edition in the stage four. Again, uh, we will revise the changes between the eighth edition and the ninth edition. T1 N1, which was initially 2B, now it is 2A. Then uh, T1, it is again divided into N2A and N2B. It has been downgraded initially, N2 was just 3A. Now, if you see if it is N2A, it is 2B, and if it is N2B, it is 3A. Then it is very similar for T2 and T3, it is very similar in ninth uh, edition. If T2 is N2, a then it is 3a t2 or t3 with n2a it is 3a and t2 and t3 if it is n2b it is stage 3b in m1 c1 or c2 there are no changes if it is m1 c1 or m1 c2 it is stage 4b it is similar to the eighth edition m1 c is 4b thank you